This is Artifacts from Mars. And, you know, I've been doing some thinking. Don't take this seriously, by the way. This is satire. The first part of this is satire. I'll let you know what the reason is shortly. Um, we should have helped, the, helped Germany out. We should have uh, seen to that all our people had jobs. You see, this way, we wouldn't have had all these young recruits joining the German army and becoming Nazis in order to come kill us. You know, Germany was really the victim in World War II. We all know it. I mean, those blasts of Jews, they uh, did every nasty thing under the bo in the books. Germany. All we had to do was give them jobs, give them hope, and Hitler would have never risen. And bad things never would have happened. There never would have been a World War II. It's all our fault. And of course, it's all the Jews' fault, too. This is beyond belief. Now I'm going to, now you've heard my quick rant. We should have given ger the Germans jobs and all this, and they wouldn't have come after us. Now I'm going to show you the reason. I'm going to put this on hold and show you the news story. Don't take me seriously on any of this, please. Okay, this is the part that we can take seriously. This idiot named Maria H Marie Harf, H-A-R-F, uh, says that we're not going to defeat ISIS with bullets and bombs. Shooting them isn't the answer. The answer, according to this airhead, is we need to give them jobs. We need to have a big jobs program for all these co countries where these thugs are coming from. Uh, that way, they'll work and they won't be inclined to join ISIS. Problem solved, we'll beat ISIS by giving them all jobs. Now, why in the living dickens? Is this idiot still working at the State Department? I would compare her to Nancy Pelosi, but Nancy Pelosi is a genius compared to this one. Now, maybe I shouldn't go that far. This is beyond my ability to understand. This is on Fox News. We're killing a lot of them, and we're going to keep killing more of them, but we cannot win this war by killing them. Department... Spokeswoman Marie Harf said on NBC's MSNBC's Harbaugh, we need to go after the root causes that leads people to join these groups, whether it's lack of opportunity for jobs, whether at that point Harf was interrupted by host Chris Matthews who pointed out there's always going to be poor people. There's always going to be poor Muslims. Harf continues to argue that you should work to help countries work with other countries to help improve their governance and help them build their economy so we can have job opportunities for these people. Jesus Christ! What is wrong with this person? It's like I said. Uh, maybe we should have gone over there and provided jobs for the Germans so they wouldn't come and try to kill us. Uh, maybe we should have instituted a big welfare program for the Japanese. Yeah, we could have helped them out. They wouldn't have come and trying to kill us either. Let's all be friends. Just give, 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 give. No, never hurt us. 
the hell's wrong with this person? Does she ha she apparently doesn't have any concept of good and evil. And this is a war between good and evil. You can't fight it with jobs. I cannot believe what she said. I don't understand why she still has a job, to be honest. Even Chris Matthews... Even Chris Matthews, who was a leftist, was saying, Hey, what on earth is wrong with this person? How the hell do these people ever get jobs in a place like the State Department when they don't have any common sense? This one takes a price. I can pick out any one of these congresswomen uh, that are notorious idiots and she tops them. Please don't say that I said that Nancy Pelosi was a genius because I'm not saying that. Only compare, but she is smarter than this person. This is this is a classic leftist liberal kook who doesn't understand the first thing about what's happening in this world. And she's making tons and tons of money working for the State Department. Oh yeah, this country's in trouble. Wake up, Americans. This is the kind of shit that Obama has working in the State Department. We're in trouble. She should be gone immediately. I'm going to say this one more time. Well, what we should have done with ISIS was hit them with nuclear weapons, battlefield nuclear weapons, and taking them out immediately. I've been watching their spread. It's almost too late. They're threatening to take Italy. They're threatening to invade Italy from Libya. And... Once they get a foothold in Europe, I don't know. It don't look good. How long we're going to be alive, I don't know. And Glenn Beck is saying that all hell's... And World War III is going to start. And we're not even going to recognize it at first. Well, I think it's already started. You know, Middle East is already in a regional war. And we're uh, doing the same basic thing with the Russians that we did with the Japanese in World, World War Two. We're uh, sending, uh, going to send Ukraine weapons and uh, no doubt personnel. Kind of reminds me of what we did with China. Uh, Google term Chenault's flying tigers. I'm just flying tigers will do. This is beyond belief. This is an extreme wacko. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to say it. She should be in the fucking kitchen. I, I can't handle this. This is stupidity beyond belief. I don't know how much longer we're going to be alive. This is Artifacts of Mars.